Hi there, my name is Victor and I am a master technician. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the engine oil and filter on 2022 and newer Toyota Tundra models. So this truck does not have an active front spoiler, but if it did, uh, before you do the oil change, the manual tells you to uh, uh, engage the active front spoiler so that uh, you can remove the skid plate easier. So how you do that is you're going to have ignition on, then you're going to shut the ignition off, and then you're going to take your wipers and uh, pull them into mist position and hold them for two seconds. And that will uh, move the front spoiler out so that you can access the skid plate. Make sure to do this within 45 seconds of shutting ignition off. And then do not turn ignition on after until you're done the oil change or the spoiler will retract again. I recommend warming up the engine before draining the oil. That way the oil will be nice and warm and uh, it will drain faster and easier and more completely. So with the engine warmed up, uh, lift the vehicle up or crawl under it and uh, take off the skid plate first. Now this one's held on by six 12 mil bolts. These ones in the front, you can just loosen them and then uh, not remove them completely. And then slide it out. The oil pan drain plug is located right there. Open the drain plug using a 14 millimeter wrench and uh, drain the oil into a suitable container. Uh, be careful, it might be hot if you did warm it up for a while. Once the oil flow slows down to a drip or a small trickle, uh, reinstall the drain plug. Make sure to use a new uh, gasket so uh, that's the Toyota part number four. It always install a new one. Make sure the old one's removed. You don't want to double gasket it because that can cause leaks. And then tighten it to 30 foot pounds or nice and snug if you're not using a torque wrench. And wipe up any oil that's uh, left on the oil pan. The oil filter on this model is located right there at the front of the engine, just beside uh, the harmonic balancer. Install a length of a 5 8 hose onto this uh, nipple right there. Now you don't have to have to do this, but uh, if you don't, then the oil will spill all over the uh, subframe cross member and it's gonna make a mess. And then install the uh, oil filter removal tool and loosen the oil filter. Now uh, you can open it part way and let all the oil drain out of it into a container that you placed under the hose earlier. Once the oil stops draining, you can uh, take the filter out completely and just tip it in a way where oil is not going to spill out of it while you're pulling it out. So uh, grab the new oil filter, pull it out of the box. It's gonna have like a plastic film on it. So remove the plastic film and then the seal on it is already lubricated. So you don't need to put any oil on it or anything. And then spin it onto the engine. So they want you to tighten to 13 foot pounds or they say uh, 
wait till the gasket contacts the surface and then do another three quarter turn. But pretty much as tight as you can get it on by hand. Don't use the tool to tighten it, otherwise it's gonna be very difficult to take it off after. And now you can use some brake clean and a rag. Just uh, clean out that little cup that's underneath it that's uh, catching the oil that's draining out of it so that when you take the hose off, it doesn't keep dripping down. And once it's uh, wiped down, then you can remove the hose from it. I'll reinstall the engine undercover. It's a good idea to have some anti-seize on the bolt. These ones are covered in it. So we don't need to add any more. And then tighten them to uh, 16 foot pounds. Remove the oil filler cap, install a funnel, and then fill the engine with 7.3 liters or 7.7 .7 quarts of uh, 020 oil. Remove the funnel, and use a rag or some paper towel to catch any drips, and then reinstall the oil filler cap and tighten it nice and snug by hand. Start the truck and let it run for a couple of minutes to uh, circulate the oil through the engine. To reset the oil change reminder use the controls over here. So uh, scroll over to the little gear, scroll to uh, vehicle settings, Press and hold the OK button. So we'll reset oil maintenance. And then we'll reset scheduled maintenance. All right. And now that the truck ran for a little bit, we're gonna shut it off and uh, let it sit for a couple of minutes so that the oil will drain into the oil pan and then we'll check the oil level. Now that the truck has sat for a bit, you can take out the dipstick, wipe it on the way out, and then uh, reinstall it. Take it out and check the oil level. So you want the oil to be, uh, you know, near the full mark here you don't want to overfill it and then i take a little bit of the oil and i put it onto the o-ring at the end of the dipstick here so that it doesn't get stuck in there next time and reinstall it and that's it you can close the hood and uh, the oil and filter replacement is completed thanks for watching please check for product links below the video for any tools or supplies needed to complete the procedure shown in this tutorial. If you would like me to make a specific video, please leave a suggestion in comments. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Cheers!